orchids section of the Glasgow Botanic Gardens. It's a indoor, well, in a greenhouse, so it's a, kind of fun. Most of the gardens actually are in the inside greenhouse here, since it's pretty cold otherwise. Wow, look at all these. It's so warm in here, and look, the palms are so big. The most famous orchid is that one, vanilla. So that's a, that's a type of orchid. Which is super popular. You probably have it almost every day in something, but most people have no idea that it's actually an orchid. But uh, there are actually over 20,000 different kinds of species of orchids in the world. And so they have probably a decent fraction of them here. This place is 20, huge. 20,000 is a lot, yep. How is it, kids? What you got there? A ham and mustard sandwich. What else? <laughs> Salmon and cucumber. Two different types of scone. I call this scone. There's a salad as well. Salad, which will be good. There's two fruit tarts, some chocolates, whipped uh, cream, and cupcakes. is the science tourist and today we'll be making scones for you. We're gonna add two cups of flour and then two teaspoons of salt because we like them salty. We got two cups. Put it into your beautiful mixing mix. bowl. You don't have to lift it up. I know I don't. Okay. I thought about that. <laughs> it doesn't hurt though. You got the salt. Got our salt. How much salt? Two teaspoons of salt. Two teaspoons of salt. Yes. Wild. This is my second tablespoon of sugar that I'm going to add to my mixture. You don't need to clap. It's impressive. Thank I'm you. proud of you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now since I'm so creative, I'm just going to take my tablespoon because we need two of these and this is measured in grams and I just, I'm just too lazy for words. So we're just going to take a chunk of this like that, like an ice cream scoop. Jesus. Yeah, and that's a, that's a tablespoon that's of butter. That's a tablespoon of butter. That is and now spoon. with my clean, fresh hands that I just washed. Wait, how many tablespoons of butter do you need? Two. You get the second one going as I need it in. You have to knead in the butter. Okay. Rubbing the butter with the fingers. I will leave my phone on the stove. So smart, so efficient. This is safety, guys. Okay. You want another one? Yeah. There you go. It's actually really fun. I'm gonna place this egg into this cup. Not just like this, by the way. Like, I'm gonna crack it. <laughs> and then I'm going to add milk until it's three quarters of a cup. Ready for it? Get ready. Go! Go this way! That wasn't very enthusiastic. <laughs> Add all but one tablespoon to flour mixture. Why? Yeah. <laughs> what the f Read all the way, maybe you'll know what's gonna happen to that one tablespoon. That's just cheating. That is cheating. Hold this. Okay, we're adding all but one. I knead about six times on lightly floured surface. Knead what? Lightly floured. Yeah, see, this was not a thing for a whisk. Meanwhile, put your one te tablespoon back in the measuring cup. Oh, that's smart. That's what I was gonna do, but I didn't remember to tell her. So, Falkirk Wheel is this amazing feat of engineering that was built, uh, completed in 2002. So on the one side, we have the Union Canal that comes from Edinburgh, and on the other side, we have the Forth and Clyde Canal that comes from 
Glasgow. We are going to go on this very interesting contraption where it takes the boat from one end, from the bottom all the way to the top like a little, little Ferris wheel. Uh, back in the day when canals were the way to transport stuff, uh, the two things were connected by a, a series of 11 locks. 11 locks. 11 locks spread over one mile because the difference in height between the two is 35 meters, so well over 100 feet, right? Oh, 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 okay. Right? Okay, so, so, um, <laughs> so why did they want to connect these two? Like, that seems a little bit, like, excessive, 35 feet for two yeah. canals. Well, that's pretty amazing, right? So they had this huge difference. Um, back in the old days, of course, it was the way to transport goods before the railroad. Okay, so I see, like, so otherwise you couldn't really, like, get goods from Edinburgh to... Yeah, exactly. Glasgow? Glasgow. Oh. There was also, uh, you know, people who just wanted to take their own private boats, right? Between between the Firth of uh, Forth, which is the, the sort of the bay near Edinburgh. The Firth and, of Forth. And the Firth of Clyde, which is the bay near... Um, Glasgow, Glasgow yeah, right? Yeah. Butter it with our... Does it say to butter it? No. It says to grease it. Yes. Good. I use butter. I use butter. We are making these beautiful shapes. Oh, go ahead. Reserved egg and milk mish. Oh! 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 That makes sense. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe you should put them all on the pan before you do that. Oh, yeah. They might smush together a tad bit. It's fine. It's fine. There's just more scones. Just some more scones! <laughs> One gigantic scone. <laughs> it's just a big old scone. It's fine. History of scones. So apparently, scones started out as bread, just just regular bread, right? They were like, uh, but it was you know Scottish bread, so it was kind of you know, <coughs> but it was sweet Scottish bread. Mm -hmm. That's why they're scones. That's the whole this. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, so apparently, uh, the word scone, people debate on like where it was first. It first originated. Mm -hmm. So some people think it came from the uh, former capital of Scotland, which was Scone Palace, right? Scone Palace, right? Um. So. That's where, like, you know, kings were knighted, and things happened. Kings were made. Kings were made. Kind of like the sword and the stone from the King Arthur Tales, right? Trendy. 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 Do you approve? <laughs> it's wrong country, but alright. Blackness Castle is between Edinburgh and Glasgow on the Firth of Forth. Wait, so they built the canal? They built the canal. It was. It's a fake canal. It's a fake canal. It's like the Erie Canal in the United States or the Panama Canal across Panama. Oh it's god. a fake canal, right? Oh it's, my god! So you know we have this problem that that the Firth of Clyde is apparently thirty-five meters lower than the Firth of Forth, right? And so the canal from one and the canal from other don't meet up. So now we have to do something about it, and they built a whole bunch of locks. 
So those locks spread over a mile. It took a huge amount of time. You can imagine to go through one lock to the other lock to the other lock to the other lock. How many right. locks? 11 locks, right? Spread over one mile. Yeah. Not to mention it took a huge amount of land. Yeah. So like it was just a real, it was a real pain. It's like crazy. Um, so when people said, oh, we should, we should revive this so that people can take their boats. Now we don't need to transport goods so much anymore, but people wanted to just take their boats from one to the other, you know? Um, and so they said, well, we should revive this, but we didn't want to, you know, take up the whole mile with 11 new locks. I mean, that was a huge amount of, so they saw, came up with this ingenious plan to say, hey, let's build a boat lift. It had never boat been, lift. It had never been done. A boat, like a boat elevator, basically, right? It had never been done before, right? Yeah. And so they were like, cool, let's do this. And so this is what the Falkirk wheel is. It's a set of wheel. It's, a, it's essentially a giant wheel with two um, sort of pans, if you think about it, right? Uh -huh. The boat goes into one pan, yeah. right? There's water in the other pan, yeah. and it just turns it like that. And then the boat can go. And then the, the sides are flipped. They're sort of, they're the same thing. They're yeah. two equivalent pans. So another boat could come in here, another boat could come in there, either way. And it just keeps going, turns one to the other like that. And what's ingenious about it, because these two things weigh almost exactly the same, the amount of energy that it takes to do this entire process is less the energy than it costs to run your washing machine, right? Incredibly small amount of energy, just like one and a half kilowatts because it's sort of like a balance, right? Effectively, you're just, you know, it's, they're kind of balanced and all you have to do is tip it slightly and it'll go like that, right? Or like that, either way, right? It, so you don't have to, so it takes an incredibly l little amount of energy to actually do this whole transporting thing, much less than it took to do the locks and the pumping water and all this sort of stuff, right? Yeah. Um, so, uh, so it's really energy efficient. It's, uh, it's a, an amazing feat of Scottish engineering. And uh, it's uh, something that, that is actually a huge tourist attraction now, in addition to being something that serves as a way for people to, uh, to get from the Firth of Forth, or to get from the, the, the Union Canal to the Forth and Clyde Canal. Glorious merch. There's a little Scottish Terrier. So cute. No. Pitcher plants. What are they? Pitcher plants. Oh. They're a type of carnivorous plant, which means they eat bugs. It's so cool. And that like sack filled with fluid, that's their digestive system. Isn't that cool? They lure flies to the rim with like sweet smelling stuff, and then the, the lid closes, and they're trapped. Isn't that like, isn't that cool? And they digest the bugs? They digest the bugs. See, like, so carnivorous plants generally like, they thrive in places with like low nitrogen because like that's how they evolved to be carnivorous because they don't have enough nitrogen to grow basically so they get their nitrogen other ways which is eating bugs. And they were never to be seen again. Okay, so this is my section, right? Because I love carnivorous plants. <laughs> There's a lot of pitcher plants. What are pitcher plants? Pitcher plants. We just went over this. They, uh... Hi! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are a different type of pitcher plants. Like, look. Look, you get some low pitcher plants, but if you stuck your foot, uh, finger in there, you wouldn't get back. <laughs> and we got some tall pitcher plants. Like, it all depends on what kind of bugs they're trying to catch. Oh, sun dudes!
according to my mother, this is the coolest part of Black Ness Castle. And I think that she just says that because she's from California and likes the ocean. Tunnels and towers, modifications made by James Hamilton of Finnart in the 1500s are most apparent in this part of the castle. Oh, that guy James, oh, this is the James Hamilton dude who is the bastard. The bastard. The bastard son the of bastard. the Earl of Aaron. Look at that bastard, doesn't he just look like a bastard? He's got his big sure. fat belly, like pointing up at something. I'm not sure that coming into a historical site and calling the builders a bastard is really like appropriate at any point. And then the light. You know where the light is, just don't go in the dark part. <laughs> Great. Hi, I'm Mirabai. So, we're, we've just made our scones. We're about to eat them. So, to add to our scones, we have Scottish salted butter. We have Cornish clotted cream. We have our apricot conserve, which is basically just jam. We have strawberry jam. We have Black currant conserve. What do you mean? What happened? What did, I, what did your face just do? They're they're amazing. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm so uh oh. Are they like salty or something? I'm so scared. Yeah. They just need a little more powdered cream. Can I try? Oops. You get it? Aren't they great? <laughs> <laughs> what? But that clotted cream, though. Yeah, that's why you eat scones with clotted cream. Oh. Mmm. Is it happening? Mm. Is it happening? Hey. Yeah, it's you. I'm eating some of Jasmina's favorite scones. Famous. Favorite. Famous scones. Famous. They look really good. I'm famous. Famous. Hey, where's the uh, clotted cream? Oh, there it is. It's hidden. You cannot access. Hidden, hidden in plain sight. You cannot access the clotted cream. You were not privy to that information. Yeah. I've already, uh... I opened the black currant one. <laughs> Turkey head. Turkey head! I've already advertised all the brothers, so you don't have to. The other day I thought it was mm. nice, too, like... Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Wow.